Welcome back, folks. In the last episode, we gained access to um, a new place, a new area, and Joey unfortunately um, made a jump, forgetting that this new shell does not have the ability to levitate. And so he's now a pile of junk. It's too heavy to carry. But we shall take um, his platine. His main board. It's too. Yeah. I ought to move that trash. Just take. Okay, he already took it, apparently. Um. Even though I didn't. See it? Never mind. There's a dog. And there's a security guard. Let's talk to the security guard. Um, yeah, let's start with the sensible questions first, like, what is the best way out of the What's city? What's the best way out of the city? There isn't a way out. Then the inhabitants are no better than prisoners. That's the price of progress. Apparently. Hmm. Okay. What's, what do you know about that woman with the dog? Do you know the woman with the dog? Oh yes, that's Mrs. Piermont. The richest woman in Union City. And the ugliest. <laughs> um... I would believe that without the proof. I mean the ugliest part. Okay, what's through that door? What's through that door? It's off limits to the likes of you. Life of me. Where it leads. It's the old cathedral. There's nothing interesting in there. In fact, it's empty. So why guard an empty and uninteresting cathedral? Why guard an empty cathedral? I'm not guarding it exactly. I'm just standing here. Preventing me from entering. Yes. Never mind. Okay, let's move on. We'll apparently not be able to enter this area yet, but there's a boy. Apparently with something which is the um, equivalent of this time of a Game Boy. And there's a man gardening some flowers. Hello, who are you? My name's Vincent, what's yours? I'm Robert. You can call me Rob. Hmm. Why aren't you at school, Vincent? Why aren't you at school, Vincent? My tutor's malfunctioned. I tried to reprogram it to play video games. Hmm. Would you like me to repair your tutor? Probably not. Oh, I can do that myself. But then I'd have to go back to my studies. Yeah, I thought so. What's that you're playing with? It's my handheld games console. Neat. What's the game? It's called Fleecy the Lamb. That sounds nice. What's the objective? Torch the mutant psychos with your flamethrower. <laughs> and stop Dante Mantis from butchering the orphans. But that's horrible. Yeah, I've played better. Yeah, sounds like the kind of games that I enjoy. Hmm. What other games have you got? Not many, because they're too expensive. They're smuggled into the city from Hobart. I've got Nobby, the platform game. Onan the Barbarian. And Revenge of the Deadly Dandelions. I suppose they keep you out of mischief. Do you know a man called Overman? No, Rob. Why do you want to know? He's my dad. Aren't you a little old to have a dad? <laughs> Last time I saw him, I was a little boy. I was taken away to the Gap. The Gap? Oh, wow! I'd like to escape to the Gap. I'm tired of being told what to do. 
Yeah. Who wouldn't be? Do we know the ugly woman with the dog? Do you know the woman with the dog? That's Mrs. Payman, and she's a pig. That's not a very nice thing to say. Well, she tried to confiscate my console. She gave me a lecture and tried to force me to join the Junior Security Corps. Don't wear out your thumbs. Okay, even though I haven't met her yet, I already don't like Mrs. Piemont. Excuse me. Smart floral display. Are they real? What do you think? They look kind of shiny. Naturally. I've just varnished them. Do you paint the flowers too? This is Union City, not Wonderland. You obviously know nothing about plants. Won't the varnish harm the plants? Au contraire, clever dick. <laughs> it filters out the crap in the atmosphere. What are you doing to that plant? I'm modeling a living sculpture. It's called topiary, and it's an art form. I think it's crazy. What are those blue flowers called? They're dandelions. Don't touch them! They're pretty. But why can't I touch them? Because if you do, you'll wet your bed. Hmm? I haven't done that for months. <laughs> See you later. Let's try to find out if um, the gardener is right. It's too firmly rooted to pull up. Oh, what a pity. Okay, let's try to talk to Mrs. Pick. Tell me about your dandelion game. Ah, it's brilliant. You get chased by these giant yellow weeds. You mean... Dandelions are yellow? The gardener told me they were blue. He's mad. He's not a real gardener. How'd you know the gardener is a fake? He's got green fingers. That's the sign of a naturally talented gardener. I saw him dipping them in the paint. <laughs> anyway, the plants are made of plastic. You're a real help, Vincent. Indeed no you problem, are. Rob. Don't wear out your thumbs. Okay, let's confront the guard now with... Um... With these news. Excuse me. Why are you a lying son of a bitch, sir? You told me dandelions were blue. Did I? Well, what of it? This boy assures me they're yellow. Ugh, smart-ass little brat. All right, you got me sussed. I haven't had any formal training, but I've always dreamed of being a gardener. I love them. Every little shrub and succulent. Those dainty blossoms waving their little stamens in the breeze. All right, I get the point. You won't report me, will you? Why should I do that? Hmm. I'd hoped he would be of a greater help somehow. Okay, let's talk to Mrs. Piemont. If we can find her, that is. Excuse me. I don't believe we've met. No, Fortunately. I'm a stranger here. I'm Mrs. Piermont, but you can call me Danielle. <laughs> How do I get out of the city? Now, why would you want to do that? There's nothing in the gap but sand and savages. But that's where I live. Ooh, how 
ghastly for you, my dear. What's the mutt's name? Well, really, <laughs> he's not a mutt. <laughs> His name is Spunky. Ah. Uh. He looks just like his owner. He looks just like his owner. Indeed. What do you mean by that? <laughs> He's really cute and fluffy. Flattery will get you nowhere, young man. Do you know someone called Overman? Why, yes, I do. He worked with my husband, Professor Piermont. Why? Are you interested in Overman? He was my father. I'm sorry, but I don't believe you. Overman's only son died in an accident. That was no accident, Mrs. Piermont. It was deliberate sabotage by security. My mother was killed, but I survived. And I've read a document which proves it. Incredible! Your mother was a great friend to me. If there's any way I can help you, just ask. Never mind. Don't worry, Mrs. Piemont. We will ask you, but first we'll talk to this doorman. Excuse me. Hold it. Your uh, membership card, please. I don't have one. This is a private club. Oh, I didn't know that. You do now. Peace off. Smart shoes. Oh, thanks. You can tell a lot from a man's shoes. The design tells you what kind of man he is. The way he cares for them tells you where he's going. And what he's trodden in tells you where he's been. How do I join the club? You have to be sponsored by an existing member. It's a most exclusive establishment. Frequented only by those with the proper credentials. You mean people with money? No, people with credit. There's a world of difference. People with money think they can afford not to care. People with credit know they can't, but don't care anyway. What goes on in the club? If I was to tell you that this club provides recreational facilities par excellence for a clientele with elegance and taste, I'd be lying through my teeth. You just said it was exclusive. Well, it is exclusive, but seedy. The reason people come here is the cheap booze and the fact that it's off-limits to security. Hmm. That could be useful. Do you know anyone who'd sponsor me? Mm, what about old widow Piermont? She used to come here, oh, years ago. If you chatted her up, she might sponsor you. See you later. I think we'll do that. So let's go back to Mrs. Piermont. And let's talk to her about um, her club membership. Excuse me. Would you sponsor me for the club? If you're really Robert Overman, I'll sponsor you. But I don't want to visit the club. I'll call the manager from my apartment. Okay, when we come back. Come to Mummy Spunky. <laughs> When we come back, folks, we'll probably be a member of this most exclusive, exclusive but CD club. So, until next time, folks. Until then.